Hey you guys, it is me. I want you guys to do me a favor, go over to my other channel, The World is Waiting Tarot, to subscribe. That's an all Zodiac channel, and I need you guys to do that. I am trying to get, excuse me, over a thousand subscribers. You're dealing with somebody young. I don't know, Cancer, who are you dealing with? I, so I'm trying to get over uh, a thousand subscribers, so do me that favor and go there. Pisces. Pisces is here, romantic, subtle, dreamy, mysterious, creative, and pure-hearted, can get lazy, scatterbrained, and indecisive, or lost from within. So that is who you're dealing with, a Pisces. We also have Neptune, quiet observer. So this is a question, I don't know. Yeah, Neptune, quiet observer, mysterious, intelligent, per perfection seeker, concentration, and wisdom. So that is, could be the aspects before this person gets all lost from it in. Leisurely, they like to do things at a leisure. And uh, five, restless, impatient, rushed to, to decisions, always looking for change. So always looking for changes. That's this energy. And Libra comes out. Popular, charismatic, sociable, balanced, fluent speaker. Um, fluent speakers, it says, when out of balance, will be a complainer and self-indulgent indulgent and indecisive. So either you're dealing with a young Pisces or a young Libra. Not sure what that means to you, but we will dissect this as we move forward. I'm going to pull from tarot and then I'll turn around and I will also pull from more Oracle cards. But so far... Whoever this person is, they might have got lazy, scatterbrained, and indecisive or lost from within. Uh, that's that young energy. Uh, we also have with the Libra, when out of balance, will be a complainer, self-indulgent, and indecisive. So, yeah, somebody who likes to go fishing on their leisure time. They, they take that time and they move forward in doing things that, you know, hey... Could be fun to them and not to you. I'm not sure how that goes. I'll pull Tara over once it shows its face. Or excuse me, once I finish or if one shows its face. That's where we are. But yeah, that is what you're dealing with. Somebody who is a quiet observer, very mysterious, intelligent, perfection seeker, concentration, and wisdom. So somebody who's very uh, good and on point when they aren't um, scatterbrained, you know. All right, so this card comes out. I don't know if I want to take these cards, but at the bottom of the deck, boundaries. You got to set boundaries with this young person. Hmm. I don't know what that means to you, but it means something. And the universe said to set boundaries, to set boundaries with the nine of wands being at the bottom of the deck and this person being young. This person has a lot of growing up to do, you know, again, Pisces, Libra type energy, somebody who becomes scatterbrained when they're not doing uh, what they need to do. We also have the lover's energy, card of Gemini, you know. So this is what's happening moving forward. We have unknown energy. We have clarity. We have uh, securing your energy or, or um, finances. We have judgment, a realization. Hold on. Let me see how I'm going to put this because I'm running out of space. Hold on one second, you guys. Yeah, I just feel like this person is has a lot to learn when it comes about love, when it comes to love. You know, they have a lot to learn. And so that's just kind of how I see this energy. But again, that's the reason why the universe is telling you to set these boundaries ahead of time. Because even though you don't know where the situation is going to head, it already looks like you have clarity on where it might end up. You know, and so that's just kind of how I see this energy. Yep, this person has three of pentacles, completion, teamwork, and walking away because this person feels like, what, wait, what was at the bottom of the deck? I don't know. Oh, boundaries was at the bottom of the deck. Why did I put that over there? That was weird. Oh, maybe it was meant to be right next to the ten of pentacles and walking away. So that is where we see it. Can you guys see this? I have my... It's getting dark now, but I have my window open, so let me get it so the glare is off of there. Okay, now it wants to act crazy. So anyway, let's turn these cards over to see this energy that's here. Yeah, the Queen of Wands. You're having confidence. There are cycles that's happening. There are some type of conflict, and the death energy is in reverse. 
So this is holding on and this is stagnation and this is sadness as well. Holding on to this lover's type energy card of Gemini, even though you don't know and you have, you don't know where it's going to take, but you have clarity uh, that you need to secure some of the things that you're doing. And you're also having a realization that something in regards to this energy, this person does not want to work as a team or see good results or complete anything when it comes to you. That's just kind of how I see this energy. Then we have walking away the six of swords energy and the emperor stability, power, you know, and the authority. So maybe this is the energy. Aries energy is here. All the energy is, we have all the elements on the board. So I can't tell you exactly what it is. If this is a Pisces or a Libra, a young Pisces or Libra, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If this isn't for you, this person can have all of these signs in their chart. So this could just mean the, the story that I'm telling and that I see could be what you're going through, but you're setting boundaries with the young energy. I know that for sure. You know, and again, the confidence and the cycles is letting you know that no matter what the situation is, there's the cycles of life. You know, things come and go, you know, people in relationships start them over. But if it has conflict and somebody feeling like there's some type of stagnant energy and you're not doing what you love. And even though you don't know or the lover's energy is here, some type of um passion, love, or union uh, is is in this situation or has to do with the situation, then the unknown energy of having the clarity about it is letting you know to secure everything because this is young energy. So that's just kind of how I see that. Let me pull from the messages of the heart. I kind of want to clarify this with tarot because it's a lot going on in this energy. It's a whole hell of a lot going on in this energy. Yeah, so far I see release, losing the battle. You are fighting a losing battle again against your opposition. Don't downgrade yourself. Play at your level, not theirs. So that's what this means, this young energy. This person is still playing games. I don't know who this belongs to or what this, whose story this is, but somebody you're dealing with is playing games. And again, they get lazy and scatterbrained and indecisive or lost from within when it comes to them not getting the things that they want. They're impatient, rushed to decisions always looking for change and restless and you know who always wants to do young things you know and not really nothing of a found of, of stability so we have the journey this love journey may be long and challenging but so long but so long as you are with them you'll never walk alone so um yeah there's loyalty to a, a certain extent but when it comes to certain situations that you know makes you anxiously wait there they search for you in everything, feel you everywhere, always in the back of their mind, hoping they run into you. So maybe you're in separation with this person. Release. Yeah, you had to, it, it just says it right here, walking away. This person, yeah, they're not stable. They're not stable mentally and physically, you know, whatever it is. When out of balance, we'll be complaining, we'll, we'll be a complainer, self-indulgent and indecisive, you know, and you know, they're, they're impatient. So all of these energies are not to a person, you know, because we have the emperor and we have the queen of wands here. You'll be okay alone. This person is not stable. So that's what the universe is telling you. Release. When they, when they set you free, they felt the sting from your absence. Don't let their silence fool you. So yeah, this person will say, that, you know, they, oh, I don't miss you or whatever the situation is. But you know, deep down, Cancer, you know what it is that you're dealing with and who you're dealing with. So that's just kind of how I see that. I'm going to pull from the untold truths of the heart to see what other energy comes out. Because, again, this person is, 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 is again, I keep saying it, childish. They're childish and they're not stable. They're not bringing you any type of stability. And that's the reason why the universe says to secure your assets, secure the things, your energy and the way, because you have clarity and a realization here. You have clarity and a realization just in between of somebody holding on to their coins like this. You're holding on to your coins here. But, you know, again, Teamwork. This person doesn't want to work with you and, and build anything. They don't want to build an empire with the emperor, right? So you have to walk away with your head held down. That's fine because not saying that you don't love this person or that, you know, it's going to be a journey. This person has to grow up. It's going to be a journey. And, you know, they're impatient right now. You know, too many cards come out. But anyway, I'll take it. Pride, ego, arrogance, and stubborn love. So that's what you're dealing with. Ego, arrogance, and stubborn love. And therefore, you know, uh, we have, sorry, trapped, stuck, tied down, and captive. So that is 
how you feel with this energy. If you keep going on without having the confidence that you know that you deserve, you know, or that, that you have before, the cycles will only be fighting and conflict. And then also you will have to be in stagnation and holding on to sadness, you know, instead of doing what makes your heart glad. And so letting go, release, walking away and moving on. That's what the universe is telling you, you know, tension, turbulence, arguments and stress. Again, fighting, like I said, impatient, restless, rush to decisions, always looking for change, changes, you know, never satisfied with just you building a foundation, you know? So again, the conflicts will be here again, turbulence, arguments and stress, misunderstood, lost soul, victim and mistakes. So again, when this person, uh, this person feels some kind of way, they get lazy, scatterbrained, indecisive and lost with it from within. And therefore, when out of balance, we will they will become a complainer, self-indulgent, indulgent and indecisive. So this person is very misunderstood, is really misunderstood. But again, is that your job to make this person understand what their true benefit they bring to the table or what they can or what you see? They have too much ego and arrogance and stubborn love in order to even listen to anything that you have to say to them, if that makes sense, you know. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull. Where am I going to pull from? Oh, the yin and yang oracle deck to see what energy comes out. Yeah, I just feel like, you know, being trapped and having to let go and there being tension and somebody always saying, you misunderstand me. You don't know who I am. No, you do, Cancer. That's the difference of us being an empath and us get you know, being, being able to sense certain energies, you know, be someone who makes everyone feel important, look them through their eyes and make them feel understood, uh, you know, um, the queen of cups energy. But if this person is steady fighting you, then how can you actually, you know, let them know exactly what you're going through, you know, uh, facade beliefs. Yeah. Their beliefs has to change. And, where did I see that? Was that here or that was another read? I don't know. Their belief system has to change. They're wearing a mask because they don't want people to really know how fragmented they are and how they feel like. And that's the reason why they feel like misunderstood means for them to walk away to something that's not stable. So anyway, the external energy. So maybe people from the outside, uh, third party energies or just family members or friends or something. It's like, you don't need this person or whatever the situation may be. But again, nobody has to be with you or this person but you. So you know what it is that you need to do and what this person is capable of. But again, you cannot be anybody's mother when it comes to what it is that they need to learn. They have to learn this on their, on their own. And sometimes separation causes that. You know, sometimes separation, you see how those cards, all these cards try to fly out. Sometimes separation, separation causes a person to have to really see that their belief system has to change once you release them. Because it says that anxiously waiting, you know, the journey, the journey might not be over. But at this point, the part of the journey has to be you guys both have to heal separately so you you can understand and in divine timing and this comes in a reverse this card deck is not really a reversal but the universe is letting you know that in divine timing you know you will have this person and this is what it says and i don't put this and put this energy out there for anyone i'm just reading the cards here i'm ending my long-term relationship to be with you now again if this person is married or in a different relationship, don't put that out there that you want that to happen because you get all their problems that they're per the person that they are married to uh, has to deal with, whether male or female, escapism. Uh, escapism. Drinking seems to be the only thing to numb my mental agony. No healing could be the thing that helps you numb your mental agony. Understanding the misunderstood, being, being feeling, understanding that you're, you're trapped in this mental state and therefore you're living a facade and you don't realize how fragmented this person doesn't realize how fragmented they are does that make sense they'll regret i regret walking away i wish i knew then what i know now yeah you gotta heal this person has to heal there's nothing that you can do in order for you to help this person uh get through this situation they have to heal they have to understand what what means the most to them and what's best for them and if they don't that's not your fault you know, that's not your fault. Now I'm going to pull from the Destined Love Oracle deck see, to see what cards come out. Yeah, because I just feel, yeah, look at that. It's a breakup. So that is what's happening. The universe said it's a breakup. This could be your soulmate, but it says that this love journey may not be 
long and, and challenging, but so so long as you are with them, you'll never walk alone. So you still, even though this person may be your soulmate, they are escaping and finding different uh, things in order to, um, what is it, cope instead of healing. So they have to heal first, you know? They have to heal because the more they keep putting it off, the more they're going to keep letting things happen. And then it's going to be betrayal and not just, you know, from third party situations and then moving forward. They have to heal, but they have to heal because they want to. You know, you can keep putting things in the air that you're a good person or that, you know, you are this and you are that. And, you know, you, you can have anything. You can put all that in the air. But this person has to understand a heart given all emotions invested diving into you that's what you've done but but at some point it gets tiring see seeing myself in you triggering reflections mirroring souls so maybe this is something that you need to work on learning to understand what's happening so mirroring soul or triggered reflections is basically what you know the soulmates actually end up doing is learning from another person now I would read Mirror and Souls, but I moved all of my stuff and I don't have it. Um, there is a reading here that is called on my page that's called Mirror and Souls. I read it to you so you can explain the, the process of the Mirror Souls and understand what's happening. It's pretty deep, so go and listen to it. I don't have my books in front of me, so I can't really read this um, for you. But again, the Mirror and Souls come with this person, you know, um understanding what this this soulmate or twin flame brings to you i'm gonna go ahead and pull from the what's the t deck i don't think i pulled from here yet no i didn't i'll go ahead and pull from what's the t deck by virtual reality nine uh she actually gave me a coupon code for uh anyone who wanted to purchase her decks is phoenix save 10 um so go on to etsy and find uh her and yeah she's there so i'm gonna pull sorry virtual reality nine there it is all right so i'm gonna go ahead and pull from here yeah photo proof came out so maybe that's what i'm saying when i say to you that they need to heal or they're gonna keep going into a spin of finding someone else and you know and leaving someone else but getting that money Getting that money, honey, hustling is what means the most to them. And then also looking you up because once you move, remove your energy, they'll be on this journey, which you never walking alone. But at some point they need to heal and not worry all about money. I'm not sure who that is for, but the proof is in the pudding. You know, there is going to be photos of this person. People are going to always have something to say when it comes to this energy. But this person needs to heal. You need to heal and go from there. Now I'm going to pull from Foreign Love Oracle is what it's called. Um, yeah, let's see. Yep, celebration. There will be a celebration one day down the line. Multitask and power. You learn to multitask. You learn to be this person or be there for everyone. This is what cancers do all the time. Our hands are in every pot because we tried to fix and, and repair and rebuild and 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 be there whatever for everyone and therefore that's where the celebration comes in at when you decide to understand and and live in your confidence energy and and move forward you know and 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 not really stay and wait around for this person to figure it out this person is young minded they might not be young but they're young enough not to want to heal themselves and to realize that People get old and people need to settle down and people have to heal before they'll be able to trust and settle down with anyone or it's just going to be a back and forth thing. And hopefully this person will realize that you are the person that they want to heal and want to be with. And if they don't, the universe will send you its equivalent. But go on my page and look at the channel, excuse me, look at the, the video called Mirrored Souls, searching on my channel, um, and that'll explain to you what a mirrored soul is. So... We're going to go ahead and get, let this energy go and um, understand that we are doing this because we're learning from our past. We're healing from our past. We're not, you know, we're not hurting from our past, even though it may hurt to hear this, but we are learning from everything. No man is your enemy. No man is your friend. Every man is your teacher. And this person is here to teach you a lesson. And that's one of the mirrored souls. Um, that's what the mirror souls explains to you that 
the person is here, your mirror. So the person who you feel like is your twin flame or soulmate is here to teach you a lesson and mirror the things that may trigger you or that may, you know, you may need to fix and work on for yourself. So we're going to say my affirmation. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health and addictions. And remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing or situation. All right, you guys, I love you.